fork. Okay, let's drop it in. I got the spring washer here and just carefully line up the forks. Into the hole. Just like that. Okay. So this time check for anything that you miss. It has to go on a six o'clock. These tabs right there. All right, stays like that. Put some oil for the bearing. some silicone bead on part one I have said that I'm going to say something about that uh, that bearing I tried to take it out but it won't come out it, it's okay it can stay in there but just in case those things fall out and you don't know how it was installed right but this is just an illustration this will be the rear case and right there right now the bearing this is the side view of the bearing the outer race is like a cup then you have the ball bearing here then you have the inner race right here this side has to face the rear So it'll be something like that and then your input shaft is right here. What will happen if you put this thing backwards, if somehow you don't know or you're not sure how to put it on? Let's just say hypothetically that you put it on backwards. Now the shaft has a tendency to go back out it will have a play rather than put it like so that you are holding the input shaft or the main shaft in place so if you accidentally put this thing backwards now you're not holding it together the this bearing is holding it in place in front and then that bearing, which is installed like this, it's like a cup. You are holding the main shaft together. So just pay attention on the outer race on that bearing. I believe the part number of that bearing is on top. It actually says right there. That's the ball bearing right there. Yeah, if you can decipher this, it actually, it tells you it's like it's a cup. Maybe later on, because I have a damaged one and I can show it to you. Next is the uh, reverse idler gear. Drop it like so. And then the bolt.
There you go. <laughs> All right, now it's the lock. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through. Right now, I have to spread it. See how it spread right now? So I'm okay to uh, put the mounting bolts now, the flange bolts. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through huh? the Check your service manual for torque specs on all the bolts. See the lock right now? It's not fully in the lock position. So what I'm gonna do, I have a piece of wood on the ground. Pick up the transmission and just give it a A drop and hopefully let's check yeah now it's fully locked I'm on my own broken to bone I feel the rain crashing down Searching for the lost and found But you don't care You're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air Like a blazing flare Just there cause the flames will burn us back All the plants bolts are torqued The idler gear mount bolts is torqued The lock is in the position now it's time to build the top now it's the ball bearing spring washer or a seal Yeah, try not to over torque that one. Okay. I got those uh, shifter forks all lined up together. It moves up and down. Next. All right. This will go in first. This tab will line up on the forks. Get 
that allen bolt to keep it in place now uh, this is next let's see if I can get this thing right with the locking tabs snacks and screw it on there now it's time to check it make sure it's, it's shift reverse Give it a torque. Okay. Apply a silicone for seal. Torque. Double check. Everything's good. Now is this. Reverse light switch. Secure it in place. I'm gonna turn it around so I can put the plug back in. There you have it. So I have another serviceable <laughs> transmission. So one way to find out really is to uh, install it in a car and give it a shakedown. But I think since I replaced the hub assembly and also the brass synchro, I think it should be okay. I should not be worried about that. I would have that grind again. That's how simple it is to uh, tear down and install or fix your transmission. V-series and D-series are basically it's the same thing. But all you need really is a reference. You have to have a reference. For installations, they pretty much like they share the same procedures. Yeah, it helps a lot when you have this. And this is where I end this video. Oh, uh, let me see if I could find that bearing. See the difference right there? This flange compared to this. This side is like a cup. And it tapers right here at, the end, at this end. And also the part number is on top. So when you place this bearing, make sure that this is on top, facing up.
And this is where I end this video. I have to make a correction. I have said on part one that there's only one long bolt, which is located here, but there's two. There's another one right here. I apologize for wrong information, but <laughs> I have to correct myself. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye everyone. And for Miley, I have a vacation coming up, so uh, I'm gonna give uh, David a call and we'll see if I can get another uh, shot of another Dino Time. Yeah. Everything's working out great. Bye everyone. Thank you.